What? I don't care, man. Okay, just do. You are the worst human being you known to me. I want you to jump at Dwayne to this thing, to the United States, to everything else in this world. I don't care that you're not here. What you have done to people's families, what you have done to everybody else in this world. Son. That, my friends, was an American patriot who, like any good citizen, did what he felt obligated to do. Confront Tucker Carlson because he saw him in a fishing store in Montana and tell him, correctly so, that he is the biggest piece of shit in the world. That was absolutely incredible. He was polite. And that was necessary. Tucker Carlson is one of the most, if not the most popular news figure in America. So when he peddles white supremacist conspiracy theories, when he pushes anti-vax misinformation, there are real world consequences. People are dying in his audience because of the things that he pushes. So this individual thought it was necessary to confront him. And he took to his Instagram to explain why he did that. He says, it's not every day you get to tell someone they're the worst person in the world and really mean it. True. What an asshole. This man has killed more people with vaccine misinformation. He has supported extreme racism. He is a fascist and does more to rip this country apart than anyone that calls themselves an American. Hashtag fuck Tucker Carlson. Hashtag uh, stay out of Montana. Yeah. That's exactly it. Listen, I'm of the belief that anyone who has the opportunity to confront Tucker Carlson to his face but doesn't do that is not just a coward, but a bootlicking piece of shit who's afraid to speak truth to power. If I ever saw Tucker Carlson, I would do exactly what he did. And I am not a confrontational person. But this individual is so destructive. The things that he says are so damaging and deadly that I feel like it's incumbent on everyone to call it out. But of course, in came the Pearl Clutchers who decided to attack the man who quote unquote ambushed Tucker Carlson. So journalist Justin Barragona reports, a Fox News spokesperson told Mediaite that Dan Bailey ambushing Tucker in a store was totally inexcusable and no public figure should be accosted regardless of their political persuasion or beliefs simply due to the intolerance of another point of view. Now, it's interesting to me uh, that Fox News is condemning public accosting. In fact, I expect them to do that since it's happening to one of their employees. But my question is, where was the outrage from Fox News when Tucker Tucker Carlson himself encouraged people to publicly accost others who were wearing masks during a pandemic that's still going on, mind you. So the next time you see someone in a mask on the sidewalk or on the bike path, do not hesitate. Ask politely but firmly, would you please take off your mask? Science shows there is no reason for you to be wearing it. Your mask is making me uncomfortable. We should do that and we should keep doing it until wearing a mask outside is roughly as socially accepted as lighting a marble in an elevator. It's repulsive. Don't do it around other people. That's the message we should send because it's true. As for forcing children to wear masks outside, that should be illegal. Your response when you see children wearing masks as they play should be no different from your response to seeing someone beat a kid in Walmart. Call the police immediately. Contact Child Protective Services. Keep calling until someone arrives. So apparently, Tucker Carlson believes that accosting people is good, unless, of course, it's happening to him. Shocker. Of course, he's a hypocrite. Of course, Fox News is going to remain silent about him encouraging, confronting people, wearing masks, as they should be doing during a pandemic. But, you know, clutch their pearls when it happens to one of their hosts, who happens to be one of the most destructive hosts that they have. Now, of course, there were other Pearl Clutchers. The View covered this, and for the most part, they tended to not support accosting Tucker Carlson in public, but nobody clutched their pearls harder than you know who. The problem with any kind of rationale of this being okay is there's this Winston Churchill quote that says, just because the crocodile's eating them doesn't mean it's not going to eat you next. As incendiary as many people find Tucker Carlson, they find the women on this show equally incendiary for different reasons. So if it's okay and should be expected, maybe there's an expectation that wherever we go, it's okay for people to come up to us and scream things and say things. And maybe you guys thought that man was being polite. I thought he was being a total jackass and incredibly rude. And we're living in a time when people like Steve Scalia 
police are being shot and wounded to the point that you don't know if they're there. He's literally going to survive. And now he has to walk with a cane because there are people that just aren't in control of themselves and aren't in control of their mental of their mental health. And they want to take out their aggression on public figures. It's incredibly dangerous. I thought it was incredibly dangerous when Maxine Waters said we should go up to public figures and get up in their faces. I, I think is a very, very slippery slope. I know how much people don't like Tucker Carlson. People equally don't like uh, Me Megan McCain and Joy Behar and Sonny Hostin and Whoopi and Sarah. These are When you're putting your opinion out there, you're making yourself a target. I now feel in my life, uh, Ben and I have to talk about what restaurants we feel safe going to. I think about what kind of places I'm comfortable taking liberty to. I have to think about what kind of neighborhood I'm living in. Tucker Carlson's wife once barricaded herself in her home in their pantry and called the police because so many protesters were outside their home here in Washington, D.C. to try and accost them. These are not, this isn't normal. And I think any rationalization that this is normal or should be accepted in the United States of America is not only indecent, but it's beyond the pale of what should be any any expectation of any kind of, of decorum in a, in a society like the United States of America. And anyone that tries to rationalize it is gross. And that man should apologize to Tucker Carlson. Counterpoint, that man should absolutely not apologize to Tucker Carlson. And in the event he sees Tucker Carlson in Montana in public again, he should confront him yet again. We should normalize confronting Tucker Carlson. And look, I understand as a public figure where Meghan McCain is coming from, right? She's been confronted. Whoopi Goldberg was confronted before. She explains that. But this is a little bit different than that, right? I don't believe people should be confronting anyone who they disagree with, right? I wouldn't condone people confronting Meghan McCain or even Ben Shapiro. The difference here is that Tucker Carlson is magnitudes more detrimental and destructive to American society than even Ben Shapiro or, or Meghan McCain. Nobody is as persuasive and effective at disseminating propaganda than Tucker Carlson, and he knows exactly what he's doing. The damage that he's causing to this country is irreparable. The lives that will be lost because they take his advice to not get vaccinated. That's permanent. Those deaths can't be undone. It's permanent. The damage that he's causing, the amount of individuals who he has radicalized and hoodwinked into white supremacy, how long will it take to deprogram these people when, he can, when we can even begin that process? Tucker Carlson is not like other news figures. I would argue he's not even comparable to Sean Hannity, who also is spreading lies and misinformation. Tucker Carlson is one of the most dangerous figures in the history of American news broadcasting. Period. Hands down. And the fact that he has one of the most popular shows in America and has two shows on Fox News should worry every single person. So I will say it again. No, normally I do not condone confronting people publicly. I wouldn't support somebody trolling Ben Shapiro or Meghan McCain in public. And for the most part, I usually think that public confrontation is only acceptable when it comes to politicians who have power but usually don't respond to their constituents. But when it comes to Tucker Carlson, the amount of damage he's causing, the amount of people he's getting killed, that just makes this necessary. It's not like it's going to change his mind or anything like that. But there needs to be some accountability. And if this is the smallest form of accountability that we get for all the damage he causes, great. Confronting Tucker Carlson is good. We should normalize confronting Tucker Carlson. Anyone who has the opportunity to but doesn't confront Tucker Carlson is a piece of shit. Period.